Daddy gave me the scissor sign. we <laughs> talking too long. <laughs> familiar sign around this house. Where anyone gets on the phone, Daddy starts making scissor signs before we say hello. <laughs> hey, this is on tape. Okay, it's really I on wanted tape. to report how things were. So. <laughs> okay, we'll change the tune a little bit. I think it's a lot of out. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll see um, about it. I think I've said that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> little right? What? Shall we hear from you now? You've just been up for Christmas holidays, and you and your husband Don are visiting with us from Guadalajara in Mexico. We'd like to hear a little bit about Mexico and what you think of it and uh, how you like it down there. You ask me questions about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, he yes and no. <laughs> well, let's start out with yes and no then. How do you like Guadalajara? It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> How is, the, how is the climate down there? It's beautiful. <laughs> That's what you're supposed to say about the scenery. Well, look, is that the correct adjective? Uh, anyway, it's, uh, how would you say about the clouds down there? <laughs> they're beautiful city. Oh, they're beautiful too. Okay, well, now I understand that uh, Don... Uh, Rises real early to do to do his studies. Well, yeah. not anymore. Oh, he did for a while. Yes. What time did he get up? He used to get up at say one o'clock and study till six. Oh seven. boy, that would be a. Why did idea. you have him on this kind of schedule so that he wouldn't find other things to do around the house? Like, like what? What on the lawn? <laughs> 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 you spend an hour wandering the lot. <laughs> hey, uh, we having a telling on thing. Okay, we're telling on each other tonight. Well, I think it's good for the soul. Now, we have Chris over here. We'd like to hear from her. You've been uh, tending Y now for how long? One semester, two uh -huh. or three? One semester. And uh, you do like it? I love it. Yeah, how do you like the mountains of it? They're very tall and majestic. All right, Rachel, they're beautiful. <laughs> they're beautiful, okay. Well, we want to hear. Now, what about the professors and, uh, and the uh, uh, religious phase of the Y? Do they have a uh, uh, church there as well as here? Of course. <laughs> that was a dumb question. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call the uh, the uh, devotional exercises? Uh, forming each morning, do you have devotional no. each morning? No, we have four. I mean, devotionals on Tuesdays. I'd like to ask a question about religion. Say, uh, how do you compare the uh, attitude of the professors and the why towards <coughs> God to ask? to the attitude of the professors at Lamar towards God? Well, it's kind of neat to be able to walk into a classroom at BYU and a professor during his lecture will bring out something concerning the church or Christ or the Book of Mormon, something like this, and work it into his lecture. I mean, you know, using this as an example, it's part of our life. And at Lamar, if they do believe in God even, which some of them don't. They keep it out of the out of uh, the lecture usually. I never, you'd never know. But if they don't believe in God, ten to one, you'll know. Oh, they put it in. <coughs> uh -huh. That's true. Well, uh, it's a good report, uh, Marshall. Uh, you've yes. just completed one semester. Uh, would you like to answer with yes or no? <laughs> but. Uh, I'd rather grunt. <laughs> I'd rather grunt. <laughs> okay, uh, well, you could have to grunt in code. You'd say yes and no. Uh, okay. I understand that uh, you're living uh, with yes. the Kaisers. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I understand <laughs> that the Kaisers turned out to be uh, a close friend of Sarah's 
Best friend. Best friend who, when they attended the. Uh, well, tell well, me, what do you think about that? Than, uh, best friend. Yeah. More than best friend. One we're reason sister. they're best friend is because they're sisters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Uh, did I ball things up again? <laughs> Boy, this tape uh, just keeps going. <laughs> and well, I've had you, in little, you wanna you come in to Marshall? Uh, how about the food down there, Marshall? Oh, well, that's the most Im most interesting thing I found about medical school. <laughs> so we're talking about what's important. How about the cadavers? Do you have yeah. cadavers down there? Yeah. How many are assigned to a cadaver? Well, we have two, and I have a no well, two on each side. We that's have four per cadaver. That's what's interesting about. The Food. Yeah. Yeah. Well, speaking of food, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, it's great to your help. You still have the same one? Yeah, the we have an, a new cadaver. <laughs> <laughs> color. Tape, Marshall. Okay, Marshall. The color. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. And uh, yeah, I had a, a friend out at our institute that came up to him and asked me if I was working on my uh, cadaver. <laughs> yeah, but my cadaver. And I said, what do you mean, my lady cadaver? <laughs> she said, oh, is that what it's called? And, uh, anyway, that's the story of the hey cadaver. Huh? Well, uh, <laughs> that's a new word that's been uh, added to my vocabulary since Marshall has been down there because I didn't even know what a cadaver or cadaver was. And now I know it's a... It's a what Orps. is it? <laughs> so uh, I guess that just about winds up our little conversation. Now I'll tell you what I might do. I might take this back in the back. And the footage, let's see, is on 554. I think I'll turn it off and go in the back and I'll play it through the big speaker system and let us listen in through the door here, okay? okay. Well, okay.
Today is January the 4th, 1970. We're in the home of uh, Bernie and Sarah Packard. Sit down, Dave. Family is surrounding the table now, and we're hoping to get some recordings on tape here of the family and the family unit and the individual family members. Now, just as soon as we get set up, uh, we'll hear from each of the family members. It's on. Okay, David, you want us to tell us about your talk that you said today in Sunday school? Yeah. What did you talk about? What? What did you talk about? Uh, uh, David and Glass. Tell me about it. David, uh, I, I, uh, I got a rock and, and swam around and rock that good and killed him right in the floor like that. Oh, it did. And who did it kill? What was his name? Uh, David. And who was the giant thing? Glass and his name. The end that he was made, and his son's name was a giant. Yeah, that's right. That was real good. And you gave a talk, and you're just three years old, aren't you? Yeah, I'm growing up. Uh huh. Like me. Okay. But, hey, that's my girl. Hey, David. It's a, David. There's somebody What there? happened when you broke your balloon today? Got mad at myself. Why did you get mad at yourself? Cause, cause, cause I popped my balloons. 
You did. Oh, no, my son. Yeah. Does somebody hear it? Is this Stephen yeah. here talking now? Yes. Uh huh. Stephen, okay, can you tell here. us your talk that you yeah. told today? Did he have a talk uh -huh. today in Sunday school? Mm hmm. Okay. Once okay. upon a time, in Jonah and the Whale, sick. I don't got it. And Jesus sucked it. There was a man named Jonah. And so. Jesus said, uh, go pray to, no, and so he said, yeah. go to all the mean, mean people to be real good. And so J Jonah said, uh, I mean, Jesus, not Gina, <laughs> not Jesus. And so Jesus said, Yes, you go over there. Then how the other reindeer? No. Uh, okay. Uh, 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 the other uh, reindeers love him. The other reindeer loves Sam. The other reindeer don't let us know that. No, huh? It's Sam's dog. So you'll go down and he's calling. Go down this story. Good. Hey, David. Now, what do you want to sing, uh, Sam? Hey, hey, with a monkey. Okay, let's hear you sing. Can I hold it? Okay, you better don't hold it too close. No, okay. Now. Hey, hey, with a random. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Hey, yeah. hey, with a monkey. Sing. The people sing the monkeys around. But we're too busy singing to put anybody down. Hey, hey. Here we come, walking down the street. We get the funniest slug. It's the one we need. Hey, hey, with the monkeys. The people think the monkeys are around. But we're too busy singing to put anybody down. Oh, that was good. Said, let's go sing. Hurry down the hill. Follow where I go. The fields go green or fail. Singing, singing all the way. Give all, give all away. I believe David's the only one that's singing that. Okay, all together. Yeah, all, all together. Sing the, sing oh, the sing. monkey song. Yeah, y'all sing the monkey song. Okay, here we come. Here we come, walking down the street. Sing it with David. Walking down the street. We get the funniest love from home. Everyone we meet. Hey, hey, we're the monkey. The people say the monkey around. But we're too busy singing to put anybody down. Oh, that was Stephen and David singing that time. Dan didn't sing that time, did you, did you want to sing a different one? You want to sing? You're tired, son. You want to go to bed? You're tired, though. What's the matter, Stan? I want to play. Play what? Play in the playroom. You want to stand on your head? No. You want to play? Get ready. You want to play Johnny Lightning? 
Okay, then uh, here we all gather around and the kids are playing. That is squeezing each other a little bit. <laughs> now, uh, maybe Vivian would like to say something to go start back to school tomorrow, or Viv? Yeah, I'm starting back to school tomorrow. What do you want to Anything else? You're starting back to school tomorrow? Starting back tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Well, say something about it. Well, uh, I think I remarked about school the other time, and I didn't say anything, just talk. Well, that's what you want to do. You want me to try again, <laughs> huh? <laughs> well, did you enjoy Christmas vacation? I really enjoyed Christmas vacation. It's pretty hard doing Christmas I didn't vacation. crack a book the whole time. Bernie? Uh, how about you? Uh, no, I didn't. Back from vacation yeah, the cold north. I went up to Idaho, saw most of the family. Glad to be back. We got a lot of sickness on the way and a lot more on the way back. And uh, <clears throat> Dan's pretty sick right now. I have to go back to work tomorrow, and I'm not looking forward to that. So you have to teach seminary in the morning? Actually, it's been postponed till Tuesday morning. Well, that's a, that's a help. Now, are you planning on going to the party tomorrow night at the chapel? I didn't know anything about it. It's a great big party tomorrow night at chapel. The baby's got to get well. Tonight. What is it, a ward banquet? Yeah, yeah it's a ward dinner. Everybody takes a cup of dish. And a plan, mom and a plan. And See the movie. Oh, what's, what's planned? Plan Search for Happiness is the movie. I see. Party. And the uh, ward budget pays for it? I guess so. I'm sure it does. It's okay. Been well, I'll let Sarah talk about Sarah, it. Maybe she'll decide say, to uh, go. You're feeling kind of under the weather. You have a bad cold. Yeah, do I look all that bad? <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. about the biggest compliment you can give a person. Is how, how sick are you? You really look sick. <laughs> 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 I feel sorry for you. You really look bad. <laughs> but uh, uh, we're still recuperating from the vacation. I guess that. You want to talk then? Little Dan talking now. See, Mama? Mm -hmm. He's been asked. Yeah, he says, I yeah, want it. That's all right. Uh-huh. Dan, now, you finally got, got him down. See, Mama? <laughs> Mama? Daddy? Uh, uh, Don't let him uh, know. Uh, Okay, okay, well, that's then, enough. Uh, so you're oh. recuperating from the trip and also from the bad cold, but you do look well. You look like you feel pretty good. Okay. Your hair looks good, and you look fresh, and you're laughing. But you look a little bit pooped. Well, nonetheless, uh, do you all have anything else that we could say uh, on the tape now before we wind it up on this January the 4th, 1970? Vivian has something to say. I think I'll report a little bit on our Christmas this year, 1969, at the turn of the century. We had, uh, I mean, turn of the decade. Uh, we had uh, all of our children home for part, at least part of it all the time. Uh, Sarah and Bernie left about the 20th of December and went out west, but we did have Rachel home and was Marshall home before you left? Marshall was yeah, home. We had there. Christmas here at Sarah's house and with a Christmas tree and Santa Claus and gifts and got to watch the kids set up and we had a Christmas dinner here at her house before we left. And then Rachel and Don came in, well they came in from Mexico and uh, uh, Rachel was sick in her stomach being expecting a baby in June and uh, so on Sarah's birthday, and Don worked uh, insulating at $6 an hour uh, the whole holidays, which made his tuition money to go back to, uh, to school. And here's little Dan. He wants to say something. What was it, Don? What was it? You want Grandma to take you? Come on, he's sitting in Grandma's okay. lap. I think that pretty well winds up the well, evening uh, yeah. of tape recording. I'm going to say one other thing. I want to tell a moment of things of this Christmas was uh, we've got a color television, our first one. We've been enjoying it. It makes a, uh, oh, excuse me, our second color television, the first one that worked. <laughs> and the other, the other first one was last Christmas. And I believe that that um, is the main thing. We had plenty to eat. Every day was the big uh, Christmas dinner. 
had uh, steaks one day, ducks one day, and chicken one day, and dumplings another day, and uh, just pork chops another day, and it was just eating too much. Everyone gained four or five pounds, and then we're trying to take them off. Okay. How's Elsie doing? Uh, Elsie is doing real well. She's been a member of the church about three months, and she's very enthusiastic about the church, and uh, she has now, uh, she wants to get Miss Pascal converted, and she has her as a project, and she's going to try to bring her into the church. She, she teaches family at home evening every now and then and gets real excited about her lesson and prepares it real well. And she's uh, um, going to start taking the teacher trainer course next Sunday. I teach the teacher trainer course. We start a new class next Sunday. What about today and testimony? And today she bore her testimony the first time in, in a sacrament meeting. She has borne it before in Relief Society, but, and she said she was very thrilled about it, intended tithing settlement today. And uh, she seems to be very devout and wants to do what's right, and uh, she has a concept of authority and, and uh, is uh, uh, very thrilled in her conversion. What about yesterday when there was a beauty parlor where there was cigarettes? Oh, yesterday we were in the beauty shop, and she's getting her hair fixed, and, and she's had quite a battle because she had to give up cigarettes, and um, has been very tempted every day you know, since she quit smoking them. And so, um, except she had a severe trial about the um, cigarettes one day, and she even went so far as to pick up one and light it, and took one whiff of it. And then she said she was so disgusted with herself, it just went all over, just a feeling of revulsion. And even though she had desired the taste of the smoke uh, beyond control, she still, her revulsion was more than her desire to smoke. And so she threw it away and she was completely disgusted with herself. And, and from then on, she said she never has desired to smoke as much. And so yesterday, we were sitting there, and the lady that owned the beauty shop came by, and she smoked cigarette and drank coffee, just the way that Elsie used to do, you know, and was talking about books that Elsie had read and visited with her. And so after it was over, I asked her, I, Elsie, I said, I was curious. I watched that you sitting there talking to this lady while she was smoking and drinking coffee, and I wondered how you felt. Uh, were you tempted, or did you desire to smoke? And and uh, drink coffee with her. And she said, I didn't even notice that she was smoking. Said, was she? And uh, I said, yes. She said, well, I think that devils give up on me on that. Says, when he tried as hard as he did that day, it was so bad. And he said, I, I, I beat him out then. It wasn't easy, and not, I didn't beat him very hard, but said, I did beat him. And says, I believe that was all he had, and he just gave up on me. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. a good report, Mother, and uh, enjoyed all the kids talking. And uh, we don't have a, a playback amplifier on this tape recorder. We only record, and then we play it back through the amplifier. Now, at some future date, I'm sure that Bernie and Sarah will want to uh, retape from this tape uh, all that's transpired on here tonight, as well as other recordings that have been made whenever they get a tape recorder, seven and a half speed and so forth and so on, of which they have plans to to do. So we'll close out January the 4th, 1970, with a jolly hello and a goodbye, and here we go, laughing and scratching, that is all.